What could terrify her so deeply that she's left screaming, throwing the entire hospital into chaos? Nurse Adriana, with over 20 years of experience, had seen nearly everything. But in those two decades, nothing had ever shaken her like what she encountered in the ward of the girl known as Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. It's interesting to know that for over 15 years, those two words have literally summarized and described the story of our main character, Carmen. Fifteen years ago, Carmen was just eight years old when she was discovered lying unconscious on the sidewalk of one of the city's busiest streets. She had fallen into a coma and was placed on life support. Through her school uniform, authorities managed to trace her school. The school staff revealed that Carmen was one of the children who arrived alone each day, and no one had ever met or known her parents. All efforts to locate Carmen's parents proved unsuccessful, leaving her hospital bills unattended. Would the young girl be left to her fate, or would her parents eventually come forward? Then, a few weeks later, Carmen's parents, Luis and Gloria, finally appeared at the hospital. Luis and Gloria were an older couple who had finally had a child after trying for many years. When the medical staff told them how much it would cost to keep their daughter alive, Gloria broke down in tears, knowing they couldn't afford her bills. Saying nothing, she simply walked out of the doctor's office. Luis gave the order to take Carmen off the life support machine, but everyone at the hospital had grown fond of Carmen and felt sorry for her unfortunate circumstances. They didn't want to see her die. Some even treated her like their own daughter, especially Nurse Adriana. She was the one who always talked to Carmen and sometimes played music for her. Anyone who saw how much Adriana cared for the little girl would think she was more than just a nurse to her. You'd be forgiven for thinking they were related. She was her primary caregiver and perhaps her guardian angel. The hospital staff all referred to Carmen as Sleeping Beauty because of her stunning facial features. Adriana rallied her colleagues to contribute to the girl's medical fees, and they all agreed. That's how much they care for Carmen. Dr. Diego contributed the highest amount among all the hospital staff. As the medical director who ran the hospital, he was also very kind to Carmen, just like Adriana. However, Adriana knew her colleagues might not be able to shoulder the girl's medical bills for too long, so she also set up a GoFundMe page to help with the expenses. The distance between Carmen's parents' home and the hospital was also a challenge for the older couple. Gloria said to Adriana, It's difficult for us to be here every day for Carmen. Luis is in a wheelchair, and I can only bring him occasionally. As much as I want to be here by my daughter's side, it takes a serious toll on my health. You are already like her second mother, would you be able to look after her for me? I'll make sure to be here once or twice a week." Adriana agreed and was honored to be responsible for Carmen. A few months later, Gloria passed away. Carmen had now been in a coma for over 14 years, and most people had lost hope that she would ever regain consciousness. Luis and Adriana were the only ones who remained optimistic. Carmen was no longer a little girl. She had grown into a beautiful woman. Still, she had missed all her teenage years. She had never been to high school or attended prom, and if or when she woke up, Carmen would be a stranger in her own body, in a new world without her mother, and with responsibilities not expected of a young woman. She would be an eight-year-old in the body of a young adult. This was the new reality that Sleeping Beauty was faced with. One day on her way to work, Adriana was involved in a serious accident. This accident put her in a wheelchair, and doctors told her it would take many months for her to recover. With Adriana not there to take care of Carmen, the responsibility fell on Dr. Diego. After some time, one of the nurses told Dr. Diego that she noticed Carmen hadn't had her period in a while. The physician ran some tests and stated that Carmen was experiencing irregular menstruation. There was no cause for alarm. Nurse Adriana felt uneasy being away from Carmen's side. She even urged Dr. Diego to send her pictures and videos from time to time to check on how the girl was faring. It took Adriana six months to recover from her injuries. When she was eventually declared fit enough to walk again, she wasted no time going to the hospital to see Carmen. The nurse stated that she was as excited as a mother who hadn't seen her child in over 180 days. 
But when Adriana saw Carmen, she noticed something hidden, or perhaps strange. Why did Carmen look so different? Yes, she had grown in those six months, but Adriana also noticed she had gained weight. This kind of growth doesn't come with age alone. Why was she covered with more than one blanket as well? Adriana whispered. When she raised the covers, the 47-year-old nurse was stunned by what she saw. Adriana couldn't comprehend it. Instead, she just ran out of the room, screaming Dr. Diego's name. The first nurse she met in the corridor told her he wouldn't be in the hospital for the next two days. She asked her several times what the problem was, but Adriana wasn't able to utter a word. Instead, she dragged the nurse to Carmen's ward to see for herself. Adriana stammered as she said, How is she pregnant? She is pregnant, isn't she? Her stomach looks slightly bigger, and she's gained weight, so she has to be pregnant. Other nurses and doctors had also stepped into the room, and one of them explained that they had noticed the changes, but Dr. Diego had run some tests, and the results proved otherwise. Adriana insisted that they conduct new tests just in case something had changed. The test results confirmed her fears. Carmen was pregnant. However, this Carmen didn't have the same intervention as the mother of Jesus. Someone must have taken advantage of her. An internal investigation was recommended, but Adriana disagreed. When Luis was informed about what had happened, he was furious and got the police involved. Two months later, Carmen's baby girl was delivered via C-section, and the quest to find the father began. Every male employee in the hospital was required to undergo TNA testing. So, who was the father of Carmen's daughter? The test results revealed it was Dr. Diego who had taken advantage of Carmen. He had used his position to ensure all efforts to expose him failed. The nurses stated that somehow, he was always the one who performed the tests when any of them suspected something. If he had been around when Adriana returned, he would have sabotaged her efforts as well. However, after the DNA tests were done, there was no trace of Dr. Diego. Without Dr. Diego's monthly financial contributions, they could no longer keep Carmen on life support. While everyone agreed that the best option was to let her go, Adriana wasn't ready to give up on Carmen. She made a last-ditch effort. Just before disconnecting Sleeping Beauty from the machine, Adriana placed the baby girl on Carmen's chest. The baby couldn't stop crying, but after a short while, she calmed down on her mother's body. It was as if Carmen's presence had soothed her. As everyone looked on, hearts pounding, Luis, Adriana, and most of the hospital staff held on to the hope that, after 15 long years, they might finally witness a miracle. And if you ask me, they were due for one. Without it, this could be the end of Carmen's life. But some stories don't end as you hope. They waited for several minutes, yet the miracle never came. Adriana stood quietly in a corner of the hospital, struggling to hold back tears she couldn't contain. Just as everyone began to accept the outcome, the little girl, still unconscious, suddenly let out a soft cry, and that's when everything changed. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, for the first time in over 5,400 days, Carmen opened her eyes. All she said was, water. Although Carmen's life would never be the same, Luis was grateful to have his daughter back, as was Nurse Adriana. In a way, it seemed Sleeping Beauty had become like a daughter to her as well. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video, take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.